As many of you are well aware, the first major winter holiday arrives on Thursday as gatherings with loved ones will happen to celebrate Thanksgiving. Some are not viewing this holiday season with as much joy as others, though. A 2023 survey from the American Psychological Association showed that 41% reported their stress increasing during this time compared to other points of the year for a host of reasons. We wanted to talk through some ways to better handle some of these potential stressors. And so we're bringing in an expert here, Kate Carmichael with ATX Counseling. Thank you so much for being here, Kate. Thank you. So we know you are talking to clients day in and day out. Talk to us generally, what are some of the biggest concerns or, or biggest things that your clients are bringing to you when it comes to the holiday season? You know, it's a stressful time. I think especially this year, I think it's been a really difficult year for a lot of people. Um, if there's been a lot of uncertainty. I think the election has taken a real toll on people. Yeah. And so one of the things we don't talk about a lot is how disconnecting all of that can be mm -hmm. and how lonely it can be for people. So even if you are spending the holidays with your family this year, not everybody is seeing eye to eye on a lot of important issues. People don't feel fully accepted by their family or maybe they don't feel their partner is being accepted by their family. So that can create a lot of big feelings and a lot of stress. So the thing I really want to encourage people to think about this year is just lowering the stakes on the holidays. This may not be the year for the perfect holiday season. Mm -hmm. It may be the year for the good enough holiday <laughs> season. And that really is okay. I want to give people permission to feel like they don't have to have everything resolved and all the tension with their families don't have to be perfectly resolved. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just show up and that's okay. And you're not broken and your family's not broken. This just may not be the year for all of that. What about financial concerns? Because I know for myself, including many of people in my life, you know, thinking about what gift to give people and having, you know, that stress cu coupled with maybe financial concerns, how would you suggest people address maybe those kinds of anxieties? It's actually similar to your mental health in that you really want to get in touch with your own ability first and what you can give because you want to give from a place of <clears throat> feeling compassion and warmth and love. And if you're ending up feeling pinched or resentful, then that gift isn't given as wholeheartedly as possible. Mm. But there are lots of wonderful gifts that you can give from your heart. But the first thing you have to think about is what are you available for? What can you give that works for you? Make that intention be there. And yes. Be the focus of everything. Okay, I know a lot of times the holidays bring up um, some feelings of grief or loss. Maybe mm. a loved one uh, that you miss sitting at that table with you is no longer there. So, what do you tell people who might be dreading the, some of those feelings um, of, of grief as we enter the holiday season? I think grief is one of the biggest um, struggles that people face. And it's not only the loss of a loved one, but the loss of a lot of things that may be happening in your life. Because the biggest thing that holidays offer is a chance to reflect. It's an opportunity for us to think about the year that has passed and the year to come. And how can we honor those we have lost? How can we honor ourselves? Whatever difficult thing you may be going through to really take a moment to reflect because even if someone is lost, they still live on in our hearts and we wanna remember them always. Mm, that's something really to keep in mind too. Uh, there are negative coping mechanisms that we can take on during the holidays to get through some of these things, uh, such as you know loss or maybe some anxiety about getting together with family members, perhaps even eating or drinking a little bit too much. Mm. Uh, how would you uh, kind of advise people about those kinds of things, be mindful of that? That is huge for all of us. It's so tempting, I think. Um, you have all of this stress coupled with a lot of alcohol, a lot of food, a lot of maybe some more negative coping skills. But <clears throat> what I always think about is not so much the behavior, but what is driving it. Hmm. So it's often the pain. There's something there that you need. Because if you're reaching, even for your phone, which seems innocuous, mm -hmm. but if you're reaching for something constantly as a way to help you manage, there may be a deeper feeling coming up. And we just want to acknowledge that and help get you care. So many good uh, reminders, tips for people. I, I know we just want people to have the best holiday possible, but to be able to, to cope with it if it's not. And so, oh, yeah. <laughs> Kate, thank you so much for such a good perspective and such good reminders as we head into this holiday week. I needed to hear it, so I know our audience out there did too. Kate Carmichael, thanks for joining us. Thank you us. so much. We'll be right back after the break.